our likeness. Later on in Genesis, I think it's 3, the scripture says, God said, here man has become as one of us, knowing good and evil. The point is, who is God talking about? Us. He, here is man made in our image after looking like us. Here and now he's like us. Who's us? Who's our? Well, it's El Elohim, the gods. So consequently, what we're talking about here is that the gods created us, created the heavens and the earth and all things on it. Now, Genesis 1-2 says, and the earth was without form and void. That's another mistranslation. And the original, it does not say that the earth was without form and void. Actually, it says, and the earth became a waste and a desolation. Not form and void, but waste and desolation. If you read it today in the Bible, Genesis 1-2, says, and the earth was without form and void. No. The earth became a waste and a desolation. Consequently, if you go to Genesis 9-1, where God is talking to Noah after the flood of Noah's day, understanding that according to the story, everyone has been wiped off the earth in the great flood, God says to Noah and his three sons, go forth into the world, multiply and replenish the earth. And you ask the question, wait a minute, the word is re, R-E, replenish the earth. Not plenish, replenish, meaning do it again. Why? Well, simply because before Noah there was a whole civilization, and according to the story, God brings a flood, destroys the world and all life on it, and now God is saying to Noah and his sons and their wives, go now on the earth and reproduce and fill the earth and replenish the earth. Well, that is a correct translation from the Hebrew, and I've talked to rabbis about that. And the word is replenish, R-E, means do it again. Okay, it makes sense that God would be telling Noah to do it again. However, if you go back to Genesis 128, where God is creating, the first chapter of the Bible, where God is creating man, man and woman, Adam and Eve, he says to Adam and Eve, multiply and replenish the earth. Do it again, replenish the earth. Implying, of course, do it again. What are you talking about doing again? Well, if you just read Genesis 1-2 correctly, it said, and the earth was without form and void. No, the earth became a waste and a desolation. So the rabbis will tell you, and the rabbinical reference works will tell you, that what is being said in Genesis 1-2 and in 128, when man and woman are being created, is that God is recreating all over again. And so consequently, the Bible, the Old Testament, is a story for this dispensation. This time, the world is being recreated. Now, what happened a million years ago, 10,000 or 100,000 years ago, that's none of your business. For you right now, this is what you need to understand. And the bottom line is, is that we are not the first creatures on the earth, the first time man's been on the earth. We now know that man has been on the earth probably millions and millions of years, and that for us to think that mankind was created 6,000, 7,000, 10,000 years ago is ludicrous, because we know better than that. And so consequently, that's what the Bible is saying. God is saying, replenish the earth to Adam and Eve. Do it again. Who is God? Well, the scripture says, and this is a very difficult word to deal with, God, G-O-D, because the, you know, that has a lot of baggage. What are you talking about when you talk about God? Well, God is dog spelled backwards, as I said. This is why churches have dogma in their teachings, because it goes back to Anubis, Anubis the dog star, uh, and the ancient Egyptian religion. But when you look at the word, and now I get back to what I was going to say to start with, that in Genesis 1-2, where it incorrectly says, and the earth was without form and void. No, the earth became a waste and a desolation. The two Hebrew words that are being translated there 
is tohu and vohu. Pronunciation, it would be T-O-E hyphen W-H-O, tohu. That's not the way it's spelled in Hebrew, but that's the way it's pronounced. T-O-E W-H-O, tohu. Vohu would be V-O-E W-H-O, tohu, vohu, waste, desolation. There's only two places in the Bible where tohu, vohu is used, and those two places, they're always used together. And there's only two places to start with. One is in Jeremiah, and one is in Genesis 1-2. In the scripture in Jeremiah, Jeremiah says, I saw the earth in a vision, and the earth was tohu vohu, meaning the earth became, and my eyes, I saw the earth, and it became a waste and a desolation. Well, when did that happen? Well, according to the Jeremiah prophecy, it happened many, many, many thousands of years before. And the prophet Isaiah said, God gave him a vision. And in the vision he saw the earth and tohu vohu, which is the earth became in his eyes. It was beautiful. It was, And the scripture says that. Jeremiah says, and the earth was beautiful. It's animals. It's birds. Uh, its civilizations were absolutely beautiful to see, and then tohu vohu, it became a waste and a desolation. Meaning that the earth probably was a very beautiful place thousands and thousands of years ago, maybe a hundred thousand years ago. And Jeremiah was given the opportunity to see the way the earth was 30, 40, 50,000 years ago with animals and a whole different beautiful world and then something happened, some kind of a major catastrophe, tohu vohu. It became a waste of the desolation. Now, when you go back to Genesis 1-2, tohu vohu is always understood to be a situation that the earth goes through when it changes from what the ancients called one dispensation to another dispensation, or one period of time in God's history, not our history. So in the, the universal God force concept of time, millions of years are nothing. What is being said there is that tohu vohu implies a total destruction on a cosmic level between dispensations of creation between God. Between the time that God created the earth and all these wonderful things were on it, say a hundred thousand years ago, and then something happened. A comet hit the earth is one of the ideas that's going around now. A major comet the size of New York hit in south of Mexico and caused the dust to fly all over the earth and everything died because it blocked out the sun. I don't know. But something happened because we know that animals, even in the North Pole, the South Pole, they have found animals that are frozen solid with green vegetation still in their mouth. Something happened many, many, many thousands of years ago some terrible catastrophe happened on the earth in which the gods were angry and, and the whole thing was just leveled. Well, maybe it wasn't the gods who did it, but the point being is that the Bible is saying that the gods, Elohim, became angry at the creation and Jeremiah was allowed to see tohu vohu, a total destruction all over the earth, a major catastrophe. And that is precisely, as I said, the words and the concept is used for the dispensation of one creative period going to another creative period.